Okay, time for the next episode. First, let's get a ride over here. Press the one button. Call somebody up. Travis! Huh. Yep. A friend of yours will bring over your bike, your motorbike, the Spell Tiger. All right, the controls for the Spell Tiger are pretty simple. You need to accelerate, you need to brake, and go backwards. Okay, if you're going backwards and you hit the A button, you do a bit of a wheelie and go super fast. Z button for turbo, and when you uh, don't crash into anything for the love of God, you will fall off your bike. Basically, when you are going at a fast enough speed, press the B button and tilt the Wii mote, and you will do a burnout spin. Let's see, where do I need to wait? I need to go that way. Crap. Oh, I'm glad I didn't crash there. That would've been bad. And embarrassing as hell. Alright, wait. One thing I want to show off real quick. Hold on. Please tell me they're closed. Yes, they're closed. Okay. These trash cans? These trash cans can be awesome because they will give you money. And some of them will also give you, like, uh, t-shirts for free. Those are pretty damn awesome. Alright, let's head this way. I'm just showing you, um, a few more th things before I run out of time. Okay. Um, okay, first off, since I'm not going to be actually doing that, um, this little M thing over here is basically a little challenge thing. You, you press the A button when you're on it, you'll go into a challenge where you have one HP and you have to kill a certain number of guys in a certain amount of time. You do that, you get money. You get hit once, you lose. You don't die, you just lose and get kicked back to the overworld. Now let's go to the job center. Uh, Cosmo, I'm not Master, secret of Cross Prussia. <laughs> wow, he just read his own text, that's new. Anyway, those are base. Uh, this is the job center, you have to come here before K Entertainment will have some of its missions. And they have nine missions total here to um, basically make money. I'm not going to do them now. Um, if, if you guys want to see them at the end of the Let's Play, leave a comment and I will do them at the end of the Let's Play before the final fight. Before... After I get to rank 1, but before the final fight. Just letting you know now. Alright. This joke is for you, don't forget. But there's nine different jobs. And they're pretty interesting, and I enjoy most of them. There's one I don't like, because there's a chance of actually losing. And by losing, I mean getting kicked out of the challenge. Alright, that's... Well, I only have a few places left to show off, so... Um, might as well show you where they are. First, we have to get back to the main street. Uh, whoop, I turned the wrong way, but that doesn't matter too much. Uh, this ain't Main Street. Dang it! I tilted it the right way. Oh, shit! And that's what happens when you crash your bike. Right. Basically, you gotta hit the A button, pick your bike back up, and get back on it. Oh, well. Uh, yep, yeah, that was embarrassing. But I figured, why did it happen now rather than, like, a part where it matters? And it will matter in future levels. Alright. Um, we'll check that one out later, that little glowy thing. That's the motel, just going inside there. Um, next we'll look at... Actually, no, we won't look at that yet. That one's actually really close by the motel. We will look at... Damn it. Bike, work for me. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's go in here. Yeah, we have enough time. Hey. Don't lay a single finger on anything. This is Naomi's Bean Katana Workshop. Basically, once she opens up, which is after rank, you become rank 9, she'll sell Tsubaki Mark 1. And you could, later, you'll be able to bring her stuff so she'll make Tsubaki Mark 2 and Tsubaki Mark 3. Um, and for each Bean Katana, there are two parts plus one that they all share. The Accelerator is basically a treasure hunter scope. When you have memory of three, it'll basically show treasure and lava cup falls on the map, and it'll vibrate when you're near treasure. Each beam katana has a power-up upgrade, and a battery upgrade, an energy saver. And note the only one I didn't buy, which is the ludicrous price of 999999. But, 
I'm getting that now because I have more than enough money to get it. Yay. You old taco. Alright, well, should have enough for the next two and then a cutscene and then I will end the recording there. Alright. Let's just drive over to the motel and park the bike because the only two things I have left to show are really close by to the motel. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Okay, get off the bike. Which, you get off the bike, by the way, by hitting the, uh, uh, stop running into a pole, Travis. You get off the bike by hitting down on the D-pad. Sorry, I didn't tell you this sooner. Let's go to Beefhead. Beefhead videos. Travis, you really gonna come over at a better time, right? You're not gonna believe your eyes. Shut up, dude. Shut up. Yeah, this is where you buy those videotapes to teach you wrestling moves. That's basically it. Just thought I'd show ya. Come back again. Oh, crap. There's one place I actually didn't show. It's not really all that important. I guess I'll show it next time. I guess I'll show it next... Uh, yeah, I'll show it next time because A, it's not very important. B, it's only selling clothes. I'll show it to you, you know, well, not next time, but no, I will show it next time. Okay, here we have the ATM. That place, you'll have to dump off your money and basically, yeah, once you do that, you return to the hotel, to the motel, and you'll get a cutscene that will open up the next rank fight for you. Off we go, please. Okay. Okay, there we go. And we should have just enough time for this cutscene. Click. Hey Travis, the next fight has been prepared. Destroy stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. Awesome. Alright, we get to kill Dr. Peace next time. Well, see you next time where I'll show you the last shot there is to show. And then we'll go take on Dr. Peace. Woot. Later. This is Matt from Wine and Forever Productions. And later.